dear viewers welcome to my youtube channel today i shall discuss about battery charger its utility and basic construction and specially about float charging and boost charging in every substation battery bank is used to supply uninterrupted power to external load circuit like relay trip coil closed coil indication lamps emergency lighting etc when ac power supplying at the substation is unavailable so battery bank is a source of power supply on emergency basis moreover it is reliable also therefore a charger is required to charge the battery bank this battery bank is required to keep charged for all time so that the bank may be utilized as and when required please watch the diagram for better understanding about charging process and loading of dc power ac power is given to battery charger through a main switch the ammeter a1 connected in series with load to indicate total load current this push button when pressed shows charging current of battery by ammeter a2 in general there is 110 numbers of battery cells in the bank to supply to 20 volt dc each cell of 2 volts so 110 into 2 volt is equal to 220 volt when ac supply at the substation is available the charger is used to charge the battery simultaneously used to meet substation loads this push button is used to indicate the load current of that moment through the ammeter a3 if charger fails to deliver dc substation auxiliary load battery bank supplies the load for several hours not for long time total current supplying by the charger at any moment is equal to charging current plus load current of that moment in each substation float cam boost charger is being used it has several opportunities This is battery bank of 220 volts consist of 110 numbers of battery cells tap cell at 92 numbers This is padlock switch the switch is made off when bank is required maintenance during switch of condition external load is fed through float charger only this is load circuit of 220 volts this is a float charger having isolator at both end of the charger
this is a contactor when port charger is made on the contactor closes its contacts to allow path to the charging current to battery bank the charger supplies power to external load circuit simultaneously it charge battery when battery bank is full charged or about to full charged at this situation bank takes small current to meet losses due to internal impedances etc the float charging current is set according to the demand of the manufacturer of the charge battery to the tune of 400 milliamps to 1500 milliamps or more if float charger is not available due to absence of ac power at substation or other reason the load is supplied by the battery bank up to a certain specific time this is boost charger positive terminal of tap cell is connected with loads positive terminal through a diode during float charging float charging current cannot flow to battery cell through this way due to the presence of this diode due to prolonged uncharging of battery cells or absence of ac input to both charger due to unavailability of ac power at the substation the battery bank is to fed power to external load circuit for hours as a result the battery voltage is diminished to a certain value even the end of backup time of the bank the battery bank needs charging as soon as possible to avoid deep discharge at such condition float charger could not charge the battery bank quickly it needs boost charging boost charger charges the bank quickly by high charging current as well as higher charging voltage nowadays auto transfer to boost charger and to float charger is extensively used the float charging current when reaches to a certain maximum value beyond its preset value the boost charger is automatically made on isolating float charger again after being sufficiently charged the battery bank takes a little current which sends relay 
to switch over the charging process to float charger where such automatic changeover process is absent there the operations are performed manually during charging by boost charger charging voltage becomes higher enough to damage the relay trip or close coil etc therefore a number of battery cells are excluded from external load circuit to avoid such damage that is a number of cells included to allow proper operating voltage to the instrument coil this is called tap cell numbers of tap cells depend on boost charging voltage as per requirement of supplier or makers of the battery cells as example if charging voltage per cell becomes 2.39 volt then number of tap cells would be 92 numbers as 92 into 2.39 volt is equal to 220 volt if the description of the subject is liked by you then please subscribe share and do comment thank you